What's up everybody? This is Alex with Jitters Resale. Welcome back to the channel. Today I'm going to give you a week three update on our DVD challenge on eBay and see how it's going. All right. So week three had quite uh, the surprising results. So for week three of our DVD challenge, just to give you a heads up, we started the month of April with the 250 items listed. I actually now have close to 300 listed and we sold a whopping uh, five DVDs during week three of our DVD challenge so far. So, so far we are selling just a little bit um, and we have some numbers. Now I do wanna give an update that my metrics I'm gonna provide as far as my total impressions are not that um, reflective um, because I have other stuff in my uh, store that have sold. So I had a variation listing. Comment down below what your thoughts are on variation listings. They're a lot of work. That's the one thing I don't like about them, but once you build the variation listing, you're good to go. I had a Blu-ray listing, so I had one listing with a bunch of options and different variations of titles, and people could buy like three or four at one time, pay one shipping. I did that um, a long time ago. That listing randomly had some traction this week. You gotta love eBay when it randomly gives you a traction on an old uh, listing. Uh, excuse me, our total profit uh, for week three, given that we have sh shipping and everything, we'll give that. So total gross is $38.71. Shipping and everything deducted, we're looking at $22.76. So not the greatest week as far as sales go, but hey, stuff is selling. I'm thankful that something did sell. Um, we have no big items to report. We have a few movies that sold for $9.99 uh, free shipping. So nothing to brag about there. Um, but hey, stuff is selling. We have stuff that's listed. Um, I did try to get a few more things listed as well this week just to get the eBay store moving to get the algorithm to, to play in my favor maybe. Um, and a few things have sold in this week. So next week's video should have a few sold as but well. The overall total impressions was at 52,943. So not that not that good. And again, there's other stuff in my store that's also getting traction. So this, this I'm starting to realize, might not be the best metric to, to follow. Um, the actual uh, click-through rate was 0.5% and the conversion rate was 2.8%. So if you're following along and you want to know metrics, there's your, your stuff. Again, I don't know a lot about it, but I do know that some of those metrics are really important as far as who's actually scrolling, clicking, and actually buying. Um, so for now, that's our week three update. So week three update, estimated profit, $22.76. And again, guess what I'm going to go do with that profit? I'm going to buy more movies. I have more movies that I'm adding over here to my 4K collection. So I just added Bad Boys uh, just recently and a few others down the end. So anyway, that's it for this portion of the video. That's our week three estimated update profit, $22.76. Something near and dear to my heart was something I purchased recently, and that was this, and I wanted to talk about it. Um, it's a conversation that hasn't been talked about yet on this channel, and so I'm going to open it up, and that is about VHS. As you see behind me, you have my VHS collection there. And recently, I just picked one up, and I picked it up mainly because it's total nostalgia all the way. Um, I actually had this movie when it was originally out. It came out. Um, I think all we had was a VHS player, so I had my dad take me to a grocery store, popped in the first 15 minutes before school, and had to watch the rest of the, the car race um, after school. So anyway, it was a fantastic uh, memorabilia item. I had to grab it for VHS in the actual used condition. I don't care. Um, I have a VHS player, so I, round, I already rewound it, and it's good to go. The quality is absolute garbage. Um, but you know what? I have it on the shelf, and sometimes that's what it's about. But behind me, it's a conversation about VHS. We... Um, don't talk about it yet, but there's this whole common trend about sealed VHS in general, which can bring value. Of course, there's tons of VHS tapes that aren't also available on anything else but VHS. I don't know a lot of them, but like older movies and stuff, and sometimes like animation and stuff like that, um, all of it's just still VHS. So it's of course going to have value. But these already, of course, are the Black Diamond. The Black Diamond VHS tapes are the one to look out for that they say. Um, I think they just look cool more than anything. Um, but we have like the Little Mermaid here. Um, with the questionable um, logo. And so, you know, there's Black Diamond out there, but do people buy them? I think so, especially like me, like this movie here, I bought it completely on nostalgia. I'll spend a few bucks on nostalgia. And so some of these other movies you're seeing behind me here, complete nostalgia, will people buy them? I think so. So I don't know, it's a conversation. Comment down below your favorite VHS tape that you can think of as a kid. Um, mine is, of course, as a young kid would be Too, too Fast, Too Furious. Um, but I would totally say either the Rugrats movie, if I had to go back OG, with the orange case. Um, so the Rugrats movie is definitely one of my favorites as a kid. So comment down below your favorite. I would love to hear it. Um, but that's it. That's it for this week's video. I just wanted to give an update, talk about VHS tapes. Um, can they sell? Tons of people still sell VHS tapes on eBay. I think they do sell uh, for a few dollars, just like DVD. So don't give up hope on VHS as well. Um, that's what we have for this week's video. I hope you liked it. Again, stick around for more videos like this. I got more content coming. And we're going to start also talking about Facebook Marketplace, things that I learned selling hundreds of items through Facebook Marketplace, and things to uh, maybe not do in the future. So until the next video, guys, we'll see you then. Peace.